All right, now we got the old DB9. I'm driving my dad's truck. I've had problems with my truck. My dang water pump's going out, so I'm gonna have to put a new one on tomorrow. So I got to borrow his brand new 2015 2500 diesel. And I may not get it back. But when I looked down there in the console, I said, wait a second, there's my old pistol that I gave him. And I didn't technically give it to him. We were in a, a small cleaning business, so I said, hey, put a little extra on my check. A few years ago, I told him this, and you can have my gun. So I was going to sell it anyway, because back then I was in the moods of selling all my semi-autos and I was buying Ruger revolvers. And now I wish I, I'm glad I got the Ruger revolvers, but I wish I had all my semi-autos back. Now this is just a cheap little holster I got off Amazon for him uh, for his birthday. I got him a few things for hunting and stuff. And I said, hey, he needs a little holster for this gun. Now he don't go out in public or nothing because you really wouldn't want to carry this out. I mean, it would kind of cover up if you had a jacket, but you're going to see that. So, but he wears it over there to the church. We do a lot of work at the church and mowing stuff. So this is all he really needs. And he mainly just keeps it in his truck. It does have a little uh, strap right here that will hold the extra magazine. These are six round magazines, uh, six shot. One in the chamber. This one, I believe. I believe. I know. I've already checked it because I already tried doing this video twice. <laughs> but uh, it's empty. So we are cleared. This gun, things I like about it. And I did EDC this for a while, about three years ago. Bought it used off Buzz Gun Shop, and I paid too much for it. I think I paid about three fifty for it used. Now I think they come out at around four hundred dollars back when they first come out years ago, four or five years ago. But now, if you can find this for $200 and under, I would jump on it and buy it again. But anything above that, there's too many other good guns. Taurus even makes some great guns now for that price range. And a Ruger, I mean, you can find so many good deals for two, between the two and $400 range. It's just amazing. Even some of the big brands, you can find some $350 guns all day long that are better than this. But a lot, one of the main reasons a lot of people bought this is because it's about the size of a 380. Look at that. I mean, it's the size of your hand. You can throw it in your pocket. I got my keys in here, but you can throw it in your pocket and you can't even tell it's there. I mean, you may be able to tell it's there now because my keys are blocking it all the way down in there. But, you know, it's flat in there. It's very, very, very light. Just a cool little pocket gun. And of course, you can throw it in a holster. I carried mine in my pocket. I had one of them little uh, pocket holsters you put in there and I can put a flashlight and a knife in the same pocket. It, it, was, it was awesome. I liked the size of it. But I ended up giving it to him because, like I said, I wanted to fund another project. But uh, it does have uh, just some basic small little sights. Ain't nothing great. Little three-dot sights. But you don't want some big sights on here on a gun that you're just going to be putting in your pocket so it ain't snagging nothing. Some cool little serrations right here in the back so you can get up here, you know, and uh, put one in the chamber. Little beaver tail to keep it from getting bit. Now, I will say when shooting this... Uh, each time it beats up your trigger finger. It hurts. I ain't gonna lie, guys. It hurts. And it hurts right here in your hand, too. It feels like somebody's taking a little baseball bat and popping you right there. And it seems like somebody's taking a ruler and just popping the crap out of your finger repeatedly. It hurts. So it's not a gun that, me personally, that I'm gonna be just out on the range and shooting a lot. But you can kind of see the size of it. It's very small. Just a cool little extra gun. But some people carry this, mixed reviews on it, good and bad on this gun. So uh, you're gonna see some really good reviews, you're gonna see some really bad reviews. I believe some of the bigger YouTube channels actually really like it. Then you're gonna see some other channels and they're gonna just hate on it. So it's really a hit or miss with this gun. Now the first box of ammo I put through it when I first got it, uh, it hung up about one every mag I put in there. So every seven shots, I had one hang up. And after that, I got broke in more, started shooting about 200 something rounds. It hasn't had a problem since. I think I had one more hang up after about 250 rounds. So, would I put my life on it, uh, depend my life on this gun in a situation? Yeah, but always in the back of my mind, I'm always going to wonder if I'm in that situation, I have to draw out to try to defend my family and my life. I'm always going to wonder is this thing going to jam up on me? But in saying that, I think that it's dependable now that it's got broke in. So it's one of them things. It ain't like my Rugers. I'm going to say, heck yeah, I can throw this in some dirt and sand and I'm ready to shoot it all day long. Well, let's take a closer look at it real fast and we'll wrap this up. I normally do shooting videos. I ain't going to be able to get that off. I normally do shooting videos with my gun videos, but um, since I'm in my dad's truck and I ain't going to have his truck very much longer, I ain't going to have time to go shoot this gun. But uh, you can, I put a link in the description below of the video I did this years ago. It's an awful video, but you'll actually get to see me shooting it and how accurate this little gun is. There's a little sights. Super light. I mean, it weighs about like my LCR. Um, 
has actually a really good grip to it. I mean, you can almost get all my fingers still on there because of the little magazine right there, but you can get a good little grip on it. A lot of people call it a mini Glock. It's got a good feel to it. Trigger's not bad, but it does hurt when you shoot it. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope all y'all are doing well. And if you got a DB9, let me know how's yours done, good or bad. That's what this channel's about. And I guess I'll holler at y'all later. God bless. God bless America. God bless y'all. God bless the Second Amendment.